Good morning. I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. US shares advanced overnight, extending recent gains as investors looked ahead to the highly anticipated Federal Reserve Symposium later this week. The Dow Jones Industrial Average lifted 236.77 points, or 0.58%. The S&P 500 rose 0.97%, while the Nasdaq Composite jumped 1.39%. The S&P 500 and NASDAQ notched their eighth straight day of increases, a first for both indexes in 2024. Turning to the US sectors, all closed higher overnight. Communication services and technology were the two leaders, closing higher by 1.44% each. Consumer staples recorded the fewest gains. Small cap stocks have continued to show renewed strength, closing higher by an additional 1.2% overnight. A continued rally in the Russell 2000 index could indicate a risk on appetite among investors, driving the overall equity market higher. In company related news, AMD shares gained nearly 5% after announcing the acquisition of ZT Systems for $4.9 billion to enhance its AI infrastructure capabilities and compete more effectively with NVIDIA. NVIDIA shares gained 4.4%. Estee Lauder's stock declined by 2.2% following a disappointing first quarter earnings report and a weak full year outlook, causing investor concern. Monday's moves continued the recent market rally, which has followed a period of volatility. Last week marked the biggest gains for the three major indexes this year. Investors are keen to get insights into the path of interest rates amid growing hopes for a potential rate cut. They will be closely watching the Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell's speech at the Central Bank Symposium in Jackson Hole, Wyoming on Friday. Before then, traders will scrutinise minutes from the Fed's most re recent meeting due out on Wednesday. The Democratic National Convention also kicked off on Monday. Turning to commodities, analysts have warned of that diversification of critical mineral supply away from China would put the global energy transition goals in danger. The firm stated that China's removal from the world's copper supply chain would create an $85 billion gap for Western economies to fill. Looking ahead to the Australian landscape, the SPY futures are pointing to a 0.5% gain. Thank you for listening and have a great day.